happen. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, at this stage with any tournament, you really can't expect that either team really has a weak map as 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 oh sorry as a weaker map as the 135 76 something like that. I think every game is going to be a close one, but I do you know something about the PMP and the way they're playing. I can just I can see it going their way, and I think well I'd like to see it anyway. I mean I think they're a team that really are underrated at the moment, and taking it down a team like Fan who are so close to being in the finals of uh, the E Series Maximus event, it's it's just encouraging. Um, we have just had a restart of the stream, I do believe, to improve the quality this evening. So apologies to all those who got the boot who are just rejoining us. Hopefully it's better for you and uh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, sorry, I was just going to say that, you know, Fan really do, really are a strong side. And, you know, they were so close to ESM finals. Just quick, just like, you know, at the, at the last pip of the pose taken down by Anexus. And... Uh, uh, and to see PMP beat them on a map, you know, it's just it, sh it shows that PMP do have top team material in them. And I think, obviously, Oxenamax, great team, well known. But this is really strong play from them. So though, we're just going to be kicking off relatively shortly, just waiting on Katana. Once again, Katana, the AFK king at the moment. And we're going to be kicking off with, I, I presume, they're knifing for sides, which is probably the most, least interesting thing in the world. You see, I disagree. I love knife size. You see everyone running around in circles trying to knife each other. And, uh, you know, I think it can be quite interesting. Obviously, the team who wins the knife round gets to pick their favourite side. It's a very strong position. So, although it's a comical round in certain aspects, it's definitely a crucial round. It's something both teams are definitely going to be trying to win. Oh, yeah, well, undeniably. But, I mean, uh, just while we do watch these guys, you know, run around and try and stab each other in a really kind of manly and not at all kind of weird and kind of abstract way. Um, Shark calling gangbang, so... Uh, indeed, told, well, I told you, it's, it's a very macho way of doing it. Obviously, it's having some fun, though. <laughs> right, then, just to measure. Right, something to discuss while we wait for this ready up, is I have been informed by a, uh, a trustworthy source that it's, in fact, Zabusa and Mudai. Are the two, you know, for Mudaj and Zabza. That's how Mudai? I've been to pronounce it. Yeah. Maybe they should have an I at the end of the name. If well, you know, I, I would, <laughs> you know, I, I would, I'd say something similar. But I mean, apparently, you know, th them Italians just like to like to uh, like to call the J's the I's. So Madai as opposed to Madaj, and Zavuza as opposed to Zabzura. It, it might just be my twisted mind, but Madaj just sounds slightly dirty. I'm not gonna lie. So Madaj. Yeah. Sounds incestual. <laughs> Maybe your mind's dirtier than mine. You know. You know. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and jump straight into the game now. Zabza with the scope in hand, getting his nade and smoke out. It's nice to see us actually, you know, normally you see scopes rushing to catch their catch a glimpse on the cross, but Zabza wasn't going for it, instead trying to stop those players on the way to A. Rob ones with two quick frags, finally taken down by Shaq. Could have been three as Elking yeah, backs up his team for planted. teammate. Oh, and Zabza's so un sorry, Z I'm just gonna call him Zabza. Zabzu so it's just not gonna happen. Let's just call him Zab. Okay, Zab, I like that. As Katana does lower the numbers for PMP once again, taking down Leo. Can I get the last one? It's not going to happen. It is all on Mudai as Elking takes him down. That's right. I called him Mudai, and I'm going to continue to. You know, one, nil. <coughs> definitely Phantasm Maguri looking strong in the attack. For everyone who's new to Call of Duty 4, doesn't quite know how it plays out, or maybe he's got some experience, but it's new back to the scene. Crossfire on the attack does tend to be the bio side, does tend to be the easier side, so PMP can get... Maybe a 7-5 scoreline, they're going to be looking very strong into the next half. We do see Phantasmagoria trying to push into A, but Leho was there, laying in wait, taking him down. Both players, t both teams, sorry, taking a casualty. Moderately early on, run, uh, moderately early on in the round. Zabza desperately trying to get a pick, and a pick he does find. Umbri going down to Zabza's R700. Smokes are going on the bomb site. We'll be lo looking at fakes, or we'll be looking at a straight. Bay has gotten tagged up, so it might delay his choice. Nade has gone in the fate, nearly gets taken out, but he escapes as the nade bounces up over the platform. Phantasma Goya will be looking to get some more fakes out, or maybe a straight plan here. A straight plan has gone down, Faye getting tagged up. This is oh so tense. Much has the last one standing, the scope for PMP. And just as I said that, Zabza takes him down. Phantasma Goya, two rounds on the truck, looking strong, looking confident on PMP's map. Yes, indeed, and I really, I, I am in, really impressed by them at the moment. Fun, obviously, a great side, and at the moment, really kind of unyielding in their attack. I'm going to go with Shah now as he's trying to push his way into Bialy. Nice dodge of a nade into Bialy. Thought that was going to be the end of him, as he does get a nade of his own onto the B-Bomb. Going to encounter Warren in Melons very, very shortly 
it is Robons. Robons gets the better of him very, very kind of... Uh, I was going to say essentially, but that makes no sense whatsoever. Still, Robons in Melons. Stick with him as he's going to go and retrieve that bomb from his compadre. And now 3v2. Robons and Zabza, last two men standing. Scope. And Robons now has retrieved an AK as well. That long range just kind of becoming a little bit easier for him. No need to whip out the Deagle. Cast really spots one on the back eight. Mirko in calf to do the wall bang. Umbe, great play. Just got punished though as Zabza lands a bullet in his brain. That's now a 1v2. Surely that bomb is not going to be allowed to go down. Leho and Mirko, both in positions, unable to stop that. And great Explosion play. Zabza has managed to get that bomb down. If he escapes as well, this round could very easily go his way. And so he has. Catch, shoot one in the foot. Leho's his shins are bleeding out, but manages to get away. Fake coming out from Mirko. Zabs is going to have to check it though as he does spot him and take him down as suddenly a 1v1 has become a bit of a task for Lehu. Lehu's going to push into Melo. Spots one. Can he land a hit fire? Doesn't Zabs oh, with bye. the three. Make it four frags that round. No problem for the Frenchman. Look at the scoreboard machine. Just look at that scoreboard. 7-0. This man is an opposite of a bond. This guy is going 7 double O, And really incredible, credible play from him. Robon's now dashing forward, confidence. Ah, sorry, escaping from inspired by Zabs' previous round. Trying to dash towards A. Does have to fall back though. PMP finding two. Meanwhile, Fan also taking down Leho and Shah. Both teams now, three players standing, both having to slow it down, trying to be a bit more careful. Don't want to lose any more and give the advantage to the other team. Robons will be looking to try and put some pressure on that A building though relatively soon. Of course, they do not want. PMP to have too much control over on that other side of the building. Robans just trying to defend Mattress though. Say it again. As soon as that fake goes down. Oh, the fake cannot go down as Vey goes down with the bomb. Robans deciding to push through though. Taking down Umbri. One versus one. Vey versus. Is it Vey? Mudaj. Mudaj, sorry, versus Robans. As indeed Robans goes on the hunt. Scope spots him. Tries to get a shot, but fails to land it. All right, sensing his opponent does move away from the car, a risky maneuver, and one that didn't pay off too well. Robon's getting the better of him. Fourth round now for Phantasmagoria, and PMP really do have to start thinking, what can we do to change this now? Otherwise, they're going to find themselves trailing in the dust. Yes, indeed, it's looking really, really difficult for anything for fun. Sorry, for PMP to do anything at the moment. We're going to pick up with Elkin, just as he's got such great positioning, he manages to tag one of the Ali Shah with the wall bang, and. Robons makes way into Melons. Vey's the one to take down Lehu though, is all on Mudaj. Mudaj, what can, sorry, Mudai, I do apologize for you grammar Nazis out there. Now he's juicy. Oh, and Robons, no problem for him. Just sat right in Bialy as he picks up a second frag and 5 0. Shot really disappointed with that nade we saw from Sabuza. Well, let's take her in Mudai this round. Let's see what he's going to try and do to try and counter the unstoppable force that is Zabza. Let's try and scope through that smoke towards that corner wall, trying to land that lucky frag, but a lucky frag he does not find. Of course, Mudai trying to get that frag up towards that top end now, as indeed nobody is there, nobody's peeking, nobody's exposing themselves. Oh, he does spot one! He tries to get the wall bang, but the frag is not there, it's not his for his, it's not there for him to claim. Five versus five still, Zabza picking up his 12th frag of the game. Brilliant play here from Zab. Mirko managing to find Katana though. PMP trying to defend the bomb sites. They do find themselves a player to the down. As indeed the bomb Explosive will start to planted. be planted. The bomb has gone down. The advantage is in Phantasmagoria. That clock in the bottom left ticking down slowly. Every second that goes by, giving Phantasmagoria another second of advantage. Rob on finally one. Taking down another. Taking down a third. Brilliant play from Rob on. And that was just brilliant. Call of Duty. Indeed, I mean, brilliant Call of Duty it is. This whole game is looking very, very sexy right now. Six to the good for Phantasmagoria. Um, I do have, obviously, it's production you can hear, Peter, not me, in the in your ear with the feedback. Still, Mudaj does open up with a frag onto Katana. Elking quickly following up onto Lehu. Can he get the second? Elking sitting in tight now in Melons. He knows he doesn't need to do anything more. As he does, you know, we've seen great things have happened from it with Elking and Melons. And, oh, that was cheeky. Umbe managed to, you know, come out on top. And I do apologise for that sound. It is my annoyingly loud TV. 4v3, though. 
Siabza and Robbons dancing around in the garage area. There are two players in A. Robbons finally begin, commences to push into A. Surely going to pick up a frag as he does come into contact with Mudaj. Does as Umbe picks up the frag as well. Zabza did go down to him. And now Robbons does take down Mirko. Robbons just decimating any player considering to be on the A site. Oh, can he, sh can he pick up the frag to Umbe? He lands the tag. Can he pick up the frag? Relocates to the top eight. Umbe still behind that bin. Robbons needs to really... Oh, and Robbons' patience doesn't succeed this time as he makes his way towards bottom eight. Hoping to pick up a frag onto the play. He does bottom. Surely not. Robbons with a third shot. And he's just opened up that ace like for the plant. Vate going to get that down with ease. And now all on Umbe. Robbons hunting for that fourth frag. Oh, and he picks it up with ease. 7-0. Robbons with 15 for 3. And PMP should just run away now as Robbons is not going to stop. There are a few people asking what game we are streaming this evening. It is Call of Duty for Promo. So please head on over, try out our heavily inspired esports title. Mudaj taking down Robbons with the scoop frag. As indeed, Katana follows up under Umbre. Shaw flashing up into B without fear, finding the frag, but then having to dart back. Trying to maintain his advantage. Zabza and Bay remaining for Ta Phantasmagoria. Leho, though, getting overconfident, getting cocky. Does get taken down by Vey. Vey and Zabza against three PMP players. What magic can they achieve? Zabza spotting the enemy scope. Desperately trying to get it and get it. He shall. Two versus two. Mudai going to be frantic. Going to be fuming. It's not going to be happy with the outcome of that scope battle. What well, was... Org looking so strong for Phantasmagoria is slowly slipping away. Sorry, looking so strong for PMP is slipping away as indeed they shuts off the round. That was a four versus two machine and they just won the round. Phantasmagoria showing the class, eight nil up, winning four versus two clutches. And they're just seeming like the unstoppable force at the moment. Indeed, I mean, uh, like you said before, you really can't expect a team to have a weak map and PMP at the moment looking like they really do have a weak map. Obviously, they, they were convinced this, but they chose this from the veto. So, you know, I can only assume that they really they were confident on this, but maybe that's going to change after this game. But then again, we are speaking too... We may be speaking too soon. You know, attack 8-4, I'd, I'd be okay with. You know, uh, at the 8 would be a great result. Indeed, defense, PMP. You know? PMP do have the advantage. and He's extended as Umbe takes down Vey, and now all on Katana in light. The bomb is across that street. They really need to sit in... And Katana is just hoping to see some peaks. And this is where PMP do need to sit in. Mudai finally chimes in with a frag. An 8-1 first round out of 8. Sorry, 9. First out of 9. PMP. So now, I'm telling you, 8-4. We could easily see this go PMP's way. They just need to change it up. A timeout. See, if I was them, I'd have got a timeout much earlier on. Kind of discuss what's going wrong. At the moment, I could tell you very quite simply, with one word, it's nades. Nades, nades, nades. Fan... I just dominate the nade kills. Robbons there, getting taken out by Katana, his own teammate through the smoke. So, Pantas Magoria may be starting to feel the pressure. No, they just lost around after what was such a confident lead. And it's starting to make them cut, make mistakes, starting to make them slowly smash a few more cracks into Pantas Magoria's armor. But saying that, PMP only have two, one player, zero players remaining. As indeed, two players got taken out in a matter of seconds. 9-3. I've seen teams come back from worse, but it's not a scoreline you're going to be looking too favourably on going into the next half. So, feeling sorry for PMP. Looking at Shaw, though, he has done, been doing relatively well on that B site. As indeed, PMP do be lo are looking like they're going to be doing a mid-street push. Shaw finding one, but failing to land the frag is forced to retreat into that back A area. Shaw not looking like he can do too much now. Has been forced to retreat. SMGs aren't too strong over on the A site once the building has been cleared. They're mainly sent over to try and clear out the building, try and clear it out for their AKs. But Shaw, oh, don't oh, Take oh, that one. Oh. Takes down a second. How did you do that, Shaw? How did you slip past the Phantasmagoria's defences and get that far in to do that much damage in a game that's oh so important? That was just impressive by... It was sublime, really. Honestly, Shard just kind of snuck on in. Didn't need to do anything else. And I, I, he was under so much pressure. He'd been spotted and managed to pick up a nice, juicy plus 10. And now, he just needs to sit in and let this round progress. Zabs again taken out. This could be PMP's round. They could get the second on the scoreboard. Only they remains. And indeed, they get it. They get their second round of the map. And I'm, I'm shocked by the scoreline. I, I do not have words to describe what has happened to PMP this map. 
it's certainly not gone well. I mean, yeah, <laughs> whether or not Fan were going a bit easy on them on Crash, I really do doubt it. We are in, obviously, for those of you that have been with us since the start, this is the Sparkle Cup quarterfinal. It's going to get it right this time. And let's see where this round takes us. going to go with Shut. On his way into Melons. Going to come in. Oh, he spots one. Surely not again. Elking just decimating anyone who considers going into that B alley. And now Elking with that bomb. He's going to try and get it down. Oh, Elking, Elking, Elking running straight into the wall bang from Mirko. And now 4-3. Advantage in numbers is for PMP. Fake coming out from Robbins as he gets straight back into Melons. Trying to draw out any sort of players he can. But it's not going to happen. Very cautious play from these He's, uh, I was going to say players, but at the moment they're, they're more like corpses for PMP. As they do seem to be constantly, constantly under pressure and constantly dying. As PMP do have the advantage this round though. Katana and Zabs are looking to change that though. Katana once again in light. He is just being like a reg you know, he's in the same position every round. And at the moment it is working for him. Spots one. Oh, great play from Katana. Just dragging his spray through Kakaf alongside Mirko. And Mirko just got dropped. Still though, 2v2. The numbers have suddenly become, you know, in fans' favour. What was a 2v4? Surely not again. Surely Mudai can bring this back. As it is 40 seconds. Katana and Zabs are both sitting in. Oh, and he gets spotted. Mudai's short. This is not going his way. And I do, f I, I, I do, f I sympathise. I sympathise with him. You know, in his mind right now, he's going to be thinking, what can I do at this stage? There's not really much. They know where I am. I don't know where one of the other players are. And I've got to defuse the bomb. I've got 20 seconds remaining. So it's not looking too great. And you know, time's trickling. But by he needs to get a frag at the very least to try and even have a chance of defusing. But he doesn't find it. Katana shuts him down. And the first off ends 10 2 in favour of Phantasmagoria. And I hate to say this, but I don't think PMP can pull this back. Of course, they did win the first map machine. So there's a third map to play if Phantasmagoria win this. So. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's true. I'm just looking at the time. And... Just waiting on you, by the way, too, ready enough, and we will be going live into the second half of MP Crossfire. Phantasmagoria needs three more rounds now to try and win this map, to bring it into a third map that says best of three. So they are looking in a strong position. It does look like we're going to be going into a third map, but I'm not counting our PMP yet. Sure, on the offensive, on that A site. He's waiting for the nades, waiting for the flashes, and he will be darting out to try and take that building, try and give his team a, some contr map control. Two players remaining for Phantasmagoria. PMP going insane. Zab not going down without a fight, though. Managed to find Mudai. Shaw desperately trying to help his teammates, but Vey gets taken out. Only the scope remains. Shaw has him in his sight. Can he land the frag? Yes, he can. 10 3. PMP up slowly, ever so slowly. And in a long way of doing it, are slowly pulling this back. So. Are you back with us, Machine, or are you uh, checking no, I am your timetable? Yeah. No, I am here. I'm just not sure whether I'm going to be able to join you on this final map, which is not going to be good at Breaking all. Breaking my heart. Breaking my heart. I know, it's a sticky situation, isn't it, Pierre? <laughs> Mate, they're taking down Shah with an A-frag. Meanwhile, L-King taking down one. PNP suddenly find themselves not in not too great a situation. Phantasmagoria do have to get the bomb down. They do have to defend the bomb sites, try and stop the bomb from going down, and they are in a strong position to do so. Elking managing to find the third PMP player to fall, but Mudai manages to find Vey. Mudai and Umbi against four Phantasmagoria players. They have one minute to do it in. It's, it's not impossible, but I'm not feeling too great. Mudai has gone down, and now it's all down to Umbi. Can he take down Robbins? Yes, he can. Three players left to find. A lot of time to do it in. Does he have the bump? Can I find him? No, he doesn't. He's got to go all the way back over to B. I'm feeling for him now. He's got so much work to do and so little time. The time is trickling away and there's still three players hunting him. There's a bomb to plant. And oh, he takes down one. He takes down a second. Just Zabza remaining. What was a four versus one? It's now a one versus one, but it looks like he's lacking. This isn't too great. It's Zabza remaining. Surely he knows who he is. Surely he knows what weapon he is. But Zabza's not watching the street. Look at the street, Zabza. That's all you have to do right now to pull off this round. He sees him crossing the street. 
15 seconds, 10 seconds. It takes five seconds to plant that bomb. So surely Zab's going to be knowing that bomb is about to go down. And he nays Umbri. What was such a promising round for Umbri ends in such bittersweet disappointment. He put in a good show, but at the end, he just got taken out by the time, by the clock. And that was a slight shame to see, actually. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's never fun when you see a player. He's just, you know, he's, he's obviously, he could pull it off if the time was unlimited. But, you know, it's just unrealistic and it's just so unlucky. To see a situation like that go to waste, in my opinion. Still, though, Mirko looking to go for a fast plant. This could be interesting. Mirko, undaunted by the players in Bialy, manages to get it down as he returns straight away to cross the street, and he hasn't been stopped. Great play from PMP. This is more like it. As Umbe digs in. El King as well, beginning to push in. Zabza and him are the last two men Then If Fan does get tagged up. Oh, Shaha, great play, just switching around straight away after fighting Elking to take down his uh, teammate. So Elking is in a spot of bother, to say the least. He is in Bialy, heavily tied, needs to take down Shaha if he wants to get out of this Bialy. But the 13 seconds says otherwise, he's going to surely be at a round for the PMP side to bring it to 11-4. Obviously, it's not quite out of the reach yet, but they've got a lot of rounds to take to try and stand any chance of pulling this back. If they can bring it back to 11-8, then I'll start rooting for PMP. But until that point, it's looking bleak. It's looking desolate. And Phantasmagoria have definitely got everything to lose here. Shaw getting taken down once again by that nade. Shaw maybe been a bit too aggressive here now on crossfire. Does seem to be falling prone to a lot of Phantasmagoria's anti-rush nades. PMP trying to stop that, uh, trying to get that bomb down now. As fan warbang in, they don't stop though, and the bomb has gone down. The time is now ticking down towards PMP's round. Can they pick it up? Zab though managing to find Mirko. So many players left for both teams, as this could go either way. Umbe finding El King. Umbe finding Katana. Brilliant AK work there from the PMP player. Fei and Zab against Liho and Umbe from PMP. Can they pull up this round? Only 20 seconds to do it in. Robbins has found Umbri, but Leho's found Zab. This is down to the wire. This could go either way. As indeed, 10 seconds remaining. If this player falls, he's done it. Robbins has brought this game to match point, and Leho's not going to be happy about that. All he had to do was run and hide, and that would have been the fifth diffused. round for them, and it's throwing it away, really. So, one more round for Phantasmagoria, and we will be going on to a third map. Yes, indeed, and I think, I think PMP are upset about that peak, truly, truly, uh, as we do see Sharp making his way towards the A side. Let's see how this goes. Marco with the first blood onto Elkin. Good play from him as Umbe follows. Three players stand now for fan. Make that two. Mudaj as well, looking very strong this round. Going to get taken down. Zabza is the man to go down. As Shah looks to get the second. We're all banging in on Katana. Katana's ready for him though. Not going to get... In fact, he does pick up the frag. Surely this isn't going to go his way. Valiant attempt there from Katana, but it wasn't meant to be. Possibly PMP delay, delaying the inevitable here, Machine, or maybe coming back for the comeback of the year. Uh, I think this would be an incredible comeback if it did, if it did uh, take form. However, I do, I'll be honest, just looking at the way that Fan are playing, I can't see it happening. Still though, Fan do get an early disadvantage once again. Two players down, sorry, no, only one player down. Finally, two players down with a great play from Umbe. And Sha now brings it to two. Fan, are they getting sloppy or is this just an incredible comeback from PMP? El King last man standing, does take down one. Sha falling to his AK as El King does finally get mopped up by Leho to bring it to 12-6. Another round in the bag for PMP. Just a quick reminder, if anyone who is joining us, this is best of three. And PMP did just win the previous map. If PMP lose this, we will be going on to a third. But PMP do not want that to happen. They need six more rounds to bring this into a draw. Bring this into overtime so they can try and claw this back. Whether they can do it or not is up to us to wait and to see. Robbins has pushed up. Shard does find it though. As PMP are looking to get that bomb down once again. Explosive PMP planted. looking so strong. All of a sudden, where has this confidence come from? Where has this flare suddenly emerged? Bay getting taken down, and only Elking and Zab remaining once again. Elking getting taken down by Cheeky Eagle from Shaw. He darts out, finishes off the round. Seven rounds as PMP need five more for overtime. Yeah, incredible play from PMP side. Just, just uh, too little, too late is uh, the uh, expression on the tip of my tongue right now. As we do, I'm going to go ahead and pick up straight, get, uh, straight away with Robbins. Robbins going to be playing the defensive play on A. I can only assume he's going to play it aggressive, though. 
as that seems to be the only mode Robons has at the moment, and it works so well for him. Elking, though, takes down Shat, aggressive on A, doing Robons' his job for him, as Zamzer as well picks up a nade frag. Finally, this round does appear to be going a little bit more in fans' way. These opening frags have been so decisive so early on. And I can't really see PMP coming back from this one. Robons confirms it, though, with a great nade onto Lehu. Rudai and Umbe need to pull something pretty special out of the bag if they want to, you know, secure this round for the team Vate in bottom A. Vate in bottom oh. A. Poet and I don't know it. Oh, and there it is. The Elking and Vay combo to bring it to 13-7. Game set and match. And the quarterfinal of Sparkle Cup goes to Fan. No, it doesn't. It's third map now. Third oh, map. I'm what a are you liar. About, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh.